All right, learning um, lesson two, internal combustion engine subsystem task one, describe the principal component of the operation of the turbocharger intake and exhaust system. Um, lesson one, one introduction. introduction. Lesson one of the principal component of the operation of diesel engine generates and engines about, and describe the knowledge obtained with the information can be used to understand what the subsystem and the internal combustion engine discuss. Within these lessons, the subsystem air intake of the system of the exhaust system, the turbocharger lubrication system, the cooling system, this will introduce the describing the intake of the turbocharger exhaust system, the intake of the system, the purpose to draw the air into the outside source of the intel of the engine cylinder, intake of manifold, figure 39, showing the following information. Page the intake manifold should um, the cover main, cover cover mounting flame for the, of the cylinder passes the fuel air intake. Um, developer, developer to make sure that the cylinder equal the quantity for the proportion important for the smooth engine performance length of the passage should be the equally the possible to distribute the mixture with equally within the fuel gasoline engine series of the pipe of the passage the, through the fuel air make sure that the carburetor is just corrupted directed by the engine cylinder onto the, the uh, intake with the stroke of the diesel engine does not have the carburetor to do so that the air is intake directed to the cylinder but the fuel is in check with the mixing with the air to help the vaporized mixture with the condensing before the vape reaches the combustion chamber to become the ideal mixture it should be vaporized completely as the answer for the combustion chamber the very important to reduce the combustion and condensing with the mixture with the manifold passage that should be designed with small smooth walls and minimum bending they collect the fuel, smooth, smooth, uh, smoothing flow and take the manifold passive to increase the voltammetric efficiency. The method of measuring the allen engine's inability to hit, take it in his intake mixture. Three eight of the vaporization of the mixture with the dues, the intake of the manifold should be provided with the control system with the heating with the described in paragraph three C on the page of fifty three. With the system must be heated with the mixture enough to aid the vaporization without heating with the point to significantly reducing the voltammetric efficiency. All right, this shows the cap and cover of the manifold uh, equalizer to the passage of the, of the engines, um, the carburetors, uh, and another carburetor. Ram induction, figure 39 with the intake manifold will give you design with the provide optimum form to give it the engine speed range with the variable length of the passage of the inerrant move of the intake with the with can call the balance of the back forth and manifold passage of the end of the one with the intake of the stroke with the beginning with the, with the next with the intake of the stroke. The passage of the proper length of the stroke with the next intake of the stroke with the beginning with the mixture of the rebound with the inerrant with the mixture of the, the cover of the ram the inside within the cylinder. This will increase the volume metric efficiency for the engine. The test name with the speed range should be known that the ram manifold, the ram manifold will serve the no, no useful purpose outside of the designated speed range. Range. Heating mixture for this day with the paragraph 2B3 on the page 40 of the bottom of the control the heating with the intake and coming mixture for the very important but the good performance of the heating with the mixture may be accomplished with one of both the following methods the direct proportion with the exhaust through the mixed passage into the intake manifold figure 40 with the following page for the heat of the exhaust will transfer the heat of the mixture with the amount of the exhaust the diverted intake of the manifold the heat of the passage control by the manifold heat with the control valve. The intake risers um, and the path exhaust fold exhaust valves. Um, Exhaust get path folding, um, path folded by the exhausts. Direct engine cool, which is the lady for the engine heat through the intake of the manifold only with the radio of the figure 41 with the following page for the intake manifold flame heater system with the figure 42 on the page 52. Engine with the equipped with the flame type of the manifold heater with the heating of the induction air cooled during cooling weather, starting warming up operation. Operation with the flame heater assembly with the with the hose wing spark plug with the flow, flow, flow control now with the two solenoid control valve with the spark plug is energized with the flame heater ignition and unit with the nozzle spray fuel under pressure into the intake manifold. Elbow assembly with the fuel vaporized is ignited with the spark plug with the Burns the intake manifold, heating the air with the bed before the chamber, then the combustion chambers. Two, because of the system, you for the fuel for the fuel for the tank of the vehicle for the component that may be compatible with all the improved fuel for the system, and then you for the multiple fuel engine for the flame fuel pump with the assembly with the rotary type of the driven, then enclosed with the electrical motor the fuel pump, receive the fuel for the vehicle fuel tank for the vehicle some supply pump with the delivery in the spray nozzle the pump is energized on and off the switch located on the instrument panel. The intake manifold, um, manifold. The intake passage for the cylinder of the one and four is the six and seven. Then with the intake passage for the cylinder of five and three, three and eight, two, three and five, two, three and eight. Water passages. The intake manifold, flame air heater system with the removal of the impurity for the flame fuel before the reach of the now the two fuel solenoid valve through you for the flame heater system. The valves are energized, open with amp the flame of the heater system is activated. The valve to ensure the fuel delivery and only when the system is operating with the two, they stop the fuel with the flow as in the engine but the heater and assembly is shut down. Okay, from the top, you have the flame heater and nozzle hold assembly in the to the clockwise intake manifold, the elbow assembly vehicle harness the connection with the flame plane heater now to the holder to fuel return the solid solenoid valve with the flame heater ignition unit with the flame heater warning harness the flame heater 
intake solenoid, the flame heater fuel pump to the flame heater knob for the holder type the flame heater for the fuel on filter fuel aim with the heater of the fuel with the inlet solenoid valve type the fuel fuel flame heater fuel inlet solenoid valve to the flame and heater pump tube flame heater pump um, heater fuel pump the fuel flame heater fuel assembly filter assembly flame heater fuel heater supply pump oil on fuel injection pump and warning harness ground lead flame heater fuel return solenoid valve flame heater fuel return fuel injection nozzle return T flame heater cable assembly flame heater spark plug in the intake manifold flame heater assembly Exhaust system. Purpose of the figure 43 for the following phase. Waste for reduction of the combustion of the carrier with the engine rear of the back vehicle with the exhaust system where they expel with the atmosphere with the exhaust system also serves to less from the engine noise. The tailpipe, the muffler, exhaust pipe, the exhaust manifold. Exhaust manifold, figure 44 and follow, figure 44 on following page. The exhaust manifold the connects to all the engines. Some of the exhaust system usually mainly, main, made of the cast iron with the exhaust manifold is formally properly degraded with the exhaust action from the cup with the, exhaust, the cylinder to help each uh, other get rid of the exhaust. The gas is backpressed with the force of the piston. The most if the push out with the exhaust gas that can be reduced to make it with the man folds smooth out the walls with the sharpened bends all the factors are taken into consideration when the exhaust is designed with the best possible manifold manufacturer to fit with the combined with the engine compartment manifold heat control valve figure 45 the, on the page 55 of the engine valve with the plate for the exhaust manifold same of the, some of the gasoline needs to deflect the exhaust gate to over the hot spot with the intake of the manifold until the engine reaches the operating temperature with the valve is the plate and plate flat hip metal p plate with the, the same in the shape of the upper opening it control the pivot shape of the this operating the thermostatic coil spring with the spring pulls valve closed against the counterweight with the four warm up the spring expand with the engine warms up with the counterweight with the pulls of the valve open all right this shows the mounting flange the exhaust valve um, pipe flange the exhaust pipe and the exhaust manifold the exhaust is also shaded Muffler figure 40 skip on page 50 skip the muffler reduce the execution the pressure with the exhaust gas with the discharge of the atmosphere with the minimum of the noise the muffler is usually located at the point of the midway of the vehicle with the exhaust the pipe between it and the exhaust manifold the tailpipe leading in from the rear of the vehicle the inlet and outlet with the muffler are usually slightly larger than the connection pipe so that they may be hooked by slipping over them and the muffler has then British secure with the exhaust pipe with the tailpipe by the clamp. The type of the typical muffler there is several concentric chambers with the openings between them, but the gas entered with the inner chamber expands its works way through the serve of the hole with the other chamber. The family of the atmosphere of the muffler must be designed for quite exhaust noise, but it will create a minimum of the off back pressure for the exhaust pipe. Back pressure could cause the loss of engine power economically as also called the overheating exhaust system components that are usually made of seal. They are usually coated with aluminum or zinc retarded corrosion. All right, this shows the intake manifold and intake pass the heat control valve with the exhaust manifold and the engine cooling, the engine warming, the exhaust gases, and then it shows the uh, heat control valve with the shaft of the thermostatic coil spring with the current counterweight with the engine cold with the engine warm, engine intake manifold, engine exhaust manifold, intake manifold, exhaust manifold. Stainless steel will allow the UV exhaust system will limit the declines due to the high cost of stainless steel exhaust system will last, last indefinitely. On figure 45 of the manifold heat control valve, the turbocharger, the turbocharger meeting with the increase of the engine valve metric efficiency by forcing the air fuel mixture into the intake of the rather than merely allowing the piston to draw naturally. A turbocharger on figure 47, page 457. Um, uh, you have the force for the engine with the exhaust stream, the force for the air mixture with into the engine and consists of the housing. Containing the two chambers, the one chamber that contains the turbine for the spun is the hot exhaust gas the direction of the gin the turbo shaft that drives the impeller that is located on the other chamber. The spinner and impeller draw off the air fuel mixture from the cupboard of the force of the into the engine becomes because of the view of the exhaust gas and improve the engine load speed with the turbocharger speed with the increase proportionally keep it the manifold pressure with the fairly uniform the device known as the waste gate with the of the turbocharger engine the control of the manifold pressure with the valve the which will open and allow the engine to exhaust the valve half of the turbocharger engine effectively reducing intake pressure for the waste gate with the valve that is operated with the diaphragm that is operated the manifold pressure the diaphragm will open only will open the waste gate valve whenever the manifold pressure reaches the desired maximum the shift of the muffler with the, from the engine of the inlet with the baffle, the resin, resin chamber of the baffle, the resin, resin chambers, and the exhaust is highlighted, and the outlet to the atmosphere. Next, you see the uh, the uh, the compressor for the air from mixture of the cylinder, the turbo and turbine, turbine wheel, the exhaust gas and inlet with the exhaust gases enter here with the shaft of the bearing of the compressor and with the compression wheel with the airflow from the mixture. That's your um, Air, your uh, turbocharger of the carburetor, the compressor, the turbine, with the exhaust manifold, with the exhaust pipe, with the w w wastegate, and the diaphragm. Also, they show the diaphragm of the wastegate with the exhaust manifold, the intake manifold, the turbine, compression, and carburetor. 
Five conclusion: This task describes the three um, three subsystem of the internal combustion engine. For the next task, will the task will define the lubrication system. Lesson two: Internal combustion engine subsystem task. You describe the principal component for the operation of the lubrication system. Introduction: Lubrication system. Figure forty-eight of the following page: The automotive, automotive engine. Of the constant supply of the oil. All moving the part of the constant supply of the fresh oil for the import. The minimum of the wear and flush bearing surface. The clean remove of the localized heat. With the develop between the moving part with the result with the friction and the addition of the oil and the supply with the cylinder wall helps the piston ring with the good seal to reduce the blow by. With the task of describing the characteristic component for the function and the internal combustion engine lubrication system. The purpose of the lubrication oil is to lubricate. Primary function engine oil to reduce the friction between the move of the part of the lubricate the friction in addition with the wasting engine power to create the destructive heat and the rapid wear of the part of the greater the friction present with the better, better between the moving part of the greater the energy reduced to overcome that friction. The increase of the engine a energy adds the amount of the heat when they generate with the cut of the moving part of the as to deprive the oil to melt the fuel to achieve the after the very short period of the engine operating with effective the use of the motor lubrication system makes the possible use of the friction type of the bearing of the engine the friction between the piston and the cylinder walls and severe make the effective lubrication of the area in operative with lubrication for the connection rod main bearings are crucial because of the heavy load that the place on them there are many with the other less Critical engine part that they also need for the constant supply of the oil, such as the camshaft, valve stem, rocker arms, and the timing chains. To show that the right main of the gallery, left main gallery, rocker arm valve to defeat the lifted le lifter le lifter lead, and the splash line timing, uh, splash loop timing of the chain with the fuel the fuel pump um, chain, the cam the uh, cam cam bearing feed. main feed bearing feed, uh, the rod bearing feed, the oil pickup, oil pump. Oil filter and oil drain, oil pump drive. Oil is a cool engine as oil circulates through the engine, also for the reserve of the room with the heat with the friction part of the oil circulates through the engine and with the drain that's some of the heat to pick up with the oil with the circulate with the reduce of the airflow with around the outside with the sump of the in some of the instances where the air supply is not exposed to the flow of the air. It is necessary to add the oil cooling and to transfer the heat from the oil with the engine cooling system the engine oil with the general mineral oil that is also most inter in internal combustion engine of the engine oil that generally is classified according to their performance qualities and their thickness. Well, whole oil lubrication figure 49 with the Following of the page, every move in the picture of the engine is designed to specific clearance for them. The adjacent surface of the oil is fed, and the surface of it forms the film with the preventing of the moving of the part of the actual turning of the surface. As the part rotates, the film all film over the oil act as the series over the rollers because of the move of the parts do not actually touch each with the other. Friction is reduced greatly within this important position clearance to be allowed with between the part of the bearing of the otherwise the film might be too thin, but this would also cause contact between the parts caused the bearing to wear, wear and burn up. It's also important for the clearance not to be large between the rotating part of the bearing of the screw with the Particularly with a heavy loaded bearing, with the likely to found the, the connection rather the heavy loads could be the cover the oil with the failing to be squeezed out, resulting in the bare fair. Earlier, oil contamination figure 50 on page 462. Oil does not wear out, but it does become contaminated with the foreign matter into the inner and take some of the oil path for the piston rings into the crankcase. This dirt is combined with the foreign matter entering the, through the crankcase. Breathing pipe with the mixture of the oil blend, the force of the bearings greatly accelerate the water with the water or one of the product with the combustion will seem with the piston ring with the same presenting with the crankcase with the water of the crankcase. Then will emulsify the oil to form a thick sludge. The products of the product of the fuel combustion will mix with the oil with as they enter the crankcase, throw flow but blow by with the wind mix for the contamination loss with the lubricating of the quality to become the acidic. Engine oil must be changed periodically to prevent contaminated oil from allowing excessive wear of the causing of the etching of the bearing with the oil contamination also controlled in the following ways. Oil um, molecules act as here with the rollers to the bearing of the surface of the magnified the many with the um, note with the right jagged edges um, shaft the bearing of the residual oil only shaft the bearing of the present and the bearing of the oil into oil enter the bearing of the shaft rotating oil has well uh, wedged in shaft up and shaft the bearing of the oil will not touch. Control engine temperature for the hotter running engine bearing burn with the fuel more of the complete with the evaporate the water produced for the before and applicable oil contamination occur with the principle of the term, uh, internal combustion engine for the zero eight one six one nine less than two the has to of the figure fifty for the source of the oil contamination for the oil filter room of the dirt product of the oil before the reach of the bearing of the minimized from where the adequate crankcase ventilation system will appear to the crankcase with the low by fumes affected before a large amount of the contamination can six um can six with the oh, with six with the oil with the use of the air intake with the filter trap the before and material to keep it from the entering of the engine oil dilution fair to figure 50 with the engine oil thins out with the wind mixed with the gasoline cover the dramatic drop in the lubrication quality some of the cause of the oil dilution are following excessive use of the hand choke cup the over rich of the mixture with an abundance of the oil the and fuel with the leak of the piston pass the piston rings into the crankcase the same condition can occur with the vehicles are equipped all right, air intake over overly rich mixture with the breather the slow blow by and the condition over the dust slow um, um 
blow by over, over overly rich mixture in oil. With the improperly adjusted the malfunction automatic choke system of the vehicle, the defect of the ignition system can cause the oil dilution due to the misfiring with the spark plug. When the spark plug with the misfire is most of the unburned fuel of the mobile fork of the exhaust system, but the small portion of the wool pipe of the rings is the engine for the crankcase. That is the engine with the malfunction thermostat. The engine is operated with the short durations only with an effort to reach the sufficient temperature to burn the full completely. Um, a small amount of the oil dilution occurred with the engine, but from the initial startup with the warm up, whenever the hour of the engine reaches the, the operational range of 180 degrees to, or 200 degrees Fahrenheit, this condition is corrected as the excessive the gasoline vapors in the crankcase is carried off with the crankcase ventilation system. American Petroleum Institute rating with the system that generally the API setting assists, system with the rating of the oil classified the oil according to the care performance characteristics high rated oil contaminates to have the, 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 the maximum protection against the rust corrosion weir oil oxidation thickening at high temperature with their constantly six class of the um, if classification of the gasoline engines SASB SD SD SE SE SF. For classification of a diesel engine, CA, CB, CC, CD, the higher alpha the designation, the higher is the quality of the oil. API designation, the SA unit, uh, utility gasoline engine adequate for the uh, usual utility engine subject to the light loops, moderate speed for the cleaning of the condition with the separated with the oil generally contains no additives. The SB minimum duty gasoline engine the adequate the automotive use under favorable conditions, high low, high low, light loads, low speeds, moderate temperature with a relatively short oil charge and hinge intervals for the SB rated the oil generally offer minimal protection of the engine against the bearing of the scuffing, the corrosion, and the oil oxidation. The SA meets all the automotive manufacturer requirements for the vehicles manufactured from 1960 to 1967. The SD removed all the motor manufacturing requirements for the vehicle manufactured from 1968 to 1970. SD oil offers uh, additional protection with the SE oil with the necessary for the introduction of emission controls. The SE meets all the all manufacturing requirements for the manufacturer for the 1971 and 1979. Stricter emission requirements for the, during these three years for the grade of the need for the oil to provide protection. The SF meets the, all the automotive manufacturing requirements of the vehicles manufactured after 1980. The SF oil is designed to meet the demands for the small high, high revving and is made necessary for the training of the of the smaller vehicle, the SF only can be used with an automotive vehicle. The API server the very rating has been related as military specification designations. All right, see, so viscosity, viscosity measurement. Generally, the viscosity of an oil refers to the resistance of flow when the oil is out with the flow the rapidly when it is in cold with the cold weather. Therefore, the oil should be with a thin, low viscosity to permit easily flow with the hot weather. The oil should be heavy to high viscosity to permit the retainment of the film stream with the, with the ambient temperature in which the vehicle operates to determine with the energy and the oil, but the higher low viscosity should be used. If the example is too thin or the oil with the weird, but the hot the weather consumption would be high with it because it would be less, be less the piston ring easily. Lubricating film will not be heavy enough to take the bearing of the clearance of the prevent bearing bearing scuffing in the cold weather, the heavy oil would not give it the adequate lubrication because it is full. Low by sluggish in some parts might be not receive oil at all. Viscosity measurements oil graded with according with the viscosity of the Society of the American Engineers. The SAE number of the viscosity of the oil will increase progressively with the SAE number. The SAE five of the oil would be the very light. Low viscosity SA ninety would oil would be the very heavy. The high viscosity the viscosity of the oil with the gasoline engine the generally range for the SA five of the Arctic use and SA sixty the desert use. It should be noted that the SA number of the oil with noting that they do not do with the quality of the oil. The viscosity number of the oil is determined by heating of the oil. But Determine temperature allowing it to flow through the precise side of the orifice while well, the measuring of the rate of the flow. The faster an oil flows, the lower the viscosity. Testing the device with the viscosity meter and oil that meets the meets SA low temperature requirements are followed by the letter of the W. The example is the SAW, SAEW, um, W10W. Multiple oil with multiple oil was prevented to be used the most in the climate to become the requirement of the low oil cold temperature for the high be oil temperature for the viscosity with the rating for the contain the two number the example over this would be called the 10W30 oil with the cost of rating for the 10W30 rating, um, being with its weight of the 10, 10 weight at 0 degrees Celsius and thick as 30 weight at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Detergent oils contain the additive to help the engine with the clean with the preventing the formation of the sludge of the gub and the SA and the SF, uh, SE and SF oils or detergent oils. Oil pumps generally oil pumps are mounted either inside or outside of the crankcase depending on the design of the engine usually mounted so that they can be driven with the warm of the spiral gear directly with the camshaft of the oil pumps generally are air with the gear with the, with the rotary type. The rotary type oil pump figure 51 following the page of the rotary oil pump to make sure the inner rotary, rotary of the loop of the main match the similarly shaped the depression within the outer, outer roller. Figure 351 shows the main with the two rotors and fit together with the inner rotor offsetting with this from the outer rotor the inner rotor is driven as it rotates the carries out the outer ro right rotor around but the outer rotor flows with the free leaf of the pump body with this the two rotors for the turn out the openings between them and the fill with the oil with the oil is then forced out between the rotors as the inner roller rotor lobe enters okay this shows oil entering uh, oil outlet and oil in the uh, 
oil outlet and oil inlet and the oil inlet uh, oil outlet and oil inlet um your outer outer rotor pump shaft the inner rotor Opening for the outer lobe of the action, much uh, much like the gear type of the pump, with the gear type of the oil pump, with the figure 50, um, 52 foot island page, with the gear type of the oil pump, with the primary gear, with the driven, with the external temperature, with the driven, with the companion, with the gear, with the oil, is four for the pump cavity, run each of the gear out of the other side of the oil path, with the pressure derived, the action with the mesh with the teeth of the vents, oil for the passing between the gear, with the forcing of the round, with the outside of each of the gear, and step of the oil pump, with the incorporated with the pressure relief, the valve with the spring loaded ball that rises with the desired pressure for the reach of the line, with the accessible oil to be um, delivered into the side of the pump. This show the driving gear, the relief valve, the pumping housing of the primary gear, with the companion gear, and oil in the oil outlet. The oil is in the black. This show the oil pump, the oil pickup tube, the oil pickup of the oil strain, the unstrained oil, the strained oil. Oil strain engine pickup of the figure 53 previous base most manufactured on the, over the, over the off the inline V type of the engine placed on at least one oil strain or a screen in the lubricating system of the screen, usually a fine mesh bronze screen. Lubricated oil sump with any of the oil pickup of the, the oil pickup tube is then threaded, threaded directly in, into the pump inlet or that may be detached for the pump, the bolt, bolt, bolts, and flames. A fixed type of the strain of the like and one described located with the sun. The constant supply of the oil will be assured since the automotive engines that pick up the hinge from the oil pump of the pin pump is designed to float on the top of the oil, thus preventing the sediment from being drawn into the oil sling system. Oil filters. Generally, figure 54 with the following page oil filter removes most of the impurities having been picked up with the oil and circulated through the engine. The filter with the mount of the outside of the engine is designed to be readily replaced. The filter configuration that are two basic filter elements with the configuration of the cartridge type and the seal exam type. The cartridge type of the filter element fit for the permanent melt with the container with the oil pump with under the pressure for the container where the path for the outside with the filter element to the center of the room here with the oil exists for the container with the element with the chain with the easily with the move of the cup of the container when this type of the filter is used. The seal of the can type of the filter element completely self-contained with the consist of the integral metals container filter element oil pump is into, into the container outside of the filter ele oil element with the oil is passed through the filter medium with the center of the element where it exists with the container with the type of the filter of the screw with onto the base for the removal of the spinning of the off the material the filter medium medium materials. Unfiltered oil and filtered oil oil filter um, show the spin on type of the um, the uh, dirty oil in the filtered oil out the filter oil out in the dirty oil in the bypass valve of the element in the cartridge type. Cotton wafer the resin treated um, paper with the two most popular automotive filter mediums that are held in place with the sandwich between the between the two perforated metal sheets. So have to do the application you fill the layer of the metal or thin layer space for the part with the foreign material is strained as the oil path between the metal layer of the filter system configuration. There are two filter systems configuration for the full flow system and the bypass system operation. Each system is as follows. Um, Pleated, pleated paper, space, space metal, and cotton waste. A full view with the figure 56 for the view A with the following page for the map of the current, current automotive design. All oil fuel flow systems are circulated through the filter before reaching the end. When the fuel flow system is used, the necessary incorporate the bypass valve of the oil filter to allow the oil pass for the element. The event of the bay comes clogged, it will prevent the oil supply from being cut off of the engine. The bypass system of the figure 56 for the view B for only a small quantity of the oil each time the circulated return to the directly in the oil plant after it's filtered. The type of the system does not filter the oil before it's sent to the engine. Oil, cool, oil coolers. Purpose of the sum of the automotive configurations do not allow sufficient airflow to be around the crankcase to allow the oil to dissipate with the heat of the engine. It's heavy to the deserve the use of the possible air. Well, despite the more heat with the oil the normal airflow can accomplish, oil air coolers installed in, in, the, in these cases. All right, this shows the engine bearing the filter with the relief valve with the, and pressure regulating valve, the oil pump, and the fuel flow filter is the system slow. The bypass system, the oil pump, the pressure gauge, the engine bearing with the pressure regulating valve of the filter. Oil temperature regulator, figure 57 of the view with the A with the following page, but the, the, the oil temperature regulator is used to prevent the oil temperature from the rising to the high, but the, high but the temperature rising to the range for the temperature during the cold water start with the winter weather with the regulator makes the, the, the um, 71 principal internal combustion engine less than 2, task 2, uh, task 2. Um, liquid liquid and liquiding in the cooling system provides a more positive means for the controlling oil with the temperature of the design cool, cool by radiation heat from the oil pan wells. This shows water and water and the oil cooler deduction radial fan. 
The regulator unit is made with the core of the row housing of the core of the witch for the oil circulates the circular bell of the construction built to expose the issue as much as possible with the coolant that can circulate through the housing of the regulator is attached to the engine so that the oil will flow through the regulator after the passing through the pump. It will leave the regulator either heated or cooled depending on the temperature of the coolant and the circulate through the engine the oil cooler figure 57 of UB with the previous basic type of the oil cooler cheap of the combat vehicles and the radiator through which they are circulated with the movement of the vehicle by the cooling fan oil from the engine that circulate through the radiator back to the sump and the uh, some per supply tank, and the system the radiator will act only as to cool the oil, and it will not heat the oil in a cold engine. The show of the crankcase and the dipstick. Um, oil level indicated the oil level the indicator is usually a bayonet type because if the small rod known as the dipstick that extends through the tube of the crankcase is marked with the show of the crankcase the full oil and then just to show the out low and high of the much of the oil need the reading that's been taken by pulling the dipstick out and noting the oil level to which it is indicated. The pressure regulator of the oil pump that will reduce reduce the pressure of the grave with excess of the rose necessary with excess of the pressure is uncontrollable with cause excessive oil consumption due to the flooded cylinder of the wall the leakage through the oil the squeeze seal of the spring loaded regulator valve that's in top of the lubrication system to control the pump pressure, the valve will open with the pressure reach the valve with the value but determining the spring with the causing the excessive oil to be diverted back into the crankcase. They show the valve spring and the valve, um, the block, the main gallery, the outlet, and to the sump, the valve, the valve spring, the gasket, and the locking pan over the pan. Type of lubricating system, the splash system, figures of the following page of the splash lubrication system, no longer you the automotive the engine, through the you the small equipment, the engine, the splash lubrication system, dippers on the connection rod, the either the oil of the crankshaft, the lead of the crankshaft, the revolution splashing the oil, the oil will thrown upward, but it finds its way into the various engine's parts. A passage drill with a dipper to the bearing with each of the connection rods to ensure the lubrication of the pa um, This system is uncertain with the modern automotive applications. One of the reasons the level of the oil crankcase will greatly vary amount with the lubricating received with the engine. A high level of the result with excessive lubrication and oil consumption, even light, slightly low level of result with inadequate lubrication. Rod dipper. So. Cylinder wall. The piston with the connection rod with the pa main bearing. Um, oil pass through the oil pump and the dipper. So the dipper is actually uh, connected to the connection rod on the piston rod crankshaft. Combination splash and force feed the, over the figure 61 with the previous display for the combination oil delivered to some of the parts of the main for the splash from the other parts of the other splash for the under pressure for the pump of the, in the crankcase. The main cam shaft of the bearing is usually item to the force of the weave while the connection rods are fitted with the dippers with the supply of oil with the rest of the engine by splash. Some of the configuration small of the small troughs under each of the connection rod cap with the use of the small knob to deliver the oil under the pressure for the oil pump. This oil never to deliver the increase the heavy of the stream with the speedy increase a very high the speed of these oil streams are powerfully enough to strike the dippers directly with the cover that much heavier rear splash the adequate lubrication within the distance the connection rod bearings are provided with a higher speed of the combination with the use of the overhead valve the engine with the upper valve train is lubricated by the pressure from the oil pump the show of the um, connection rod bearing with the oil passage main bearing with the connection rod through the piston the oil passage and the oil pump Force feed lubrication system figure 62. Some with the complete with the pressurization lubrication achieved with the force feed lubrication system. All the force by the oil pump with the crankcase with the main bearing with the figure um, 70, 76. Page 76. Principal internal combustion to OD 16 less than, ten, less than two less, less task two camshaft bearings is unlike the combination of the connection rod bearing, but they also fed with under the pressure with the, for the from the pump of the oil passage drill with the can shaft and crankshaft with the order to lead the oil connecting rod bearing for the passage with the lip of the oil for the main bearing drilling with the rod bearing drill within some of the inch of these openings that are holes in the index line up with the oil once every the, the, the crankshaft of the revolution. Other engines that are annual groove with the main bearings through the oil can feed the constantly into the hole with the crankshaft with the pressure of the oil lubricant with the contact with the rod bearings goes onto the lubricating piston walls by squirting it on out through the strategi strategically drilled holes. This lubricating system is used with the vir vir virtually all engines that are equipped with the semi floating piston pins. Or this shows the connection rod bearing with the oil pass to the main bearing, connection rod, um, cylinder walls, piston, piston pin, and the oil pass to the oil pump. Force, full force feed lubrication system. A full force feed lubrication system. All the bearings mentioned in the paragraph I beam of the page 76 lubricated oil under pressure for this bay. Includes main bearing, rod bearings, camshaft bearing, complete valve mechanism. In addition, with a full force lubrication system, provide lubrication under pressure to pistons. And the piston pin for the accomplished by the whole trip of the length of the connection rod, creating a uh, 
creating an oil passion for the connection rod bearing to the piston pin bearing. This passion not only feed for the piston pin bearings, but also provides lubrication for the pistons and connected cylinder walls. A full force um, feed lubrication system is usually by virtually all current automotive engines that are equipped with the full floating piston pins. Six conclusion: Lubrication system plays an important role within keeping the internal combustion engine operation with the cooling system that's described in the next task and another subsystem essential to proper operation with the internal combustion engine. Lesson two: Internal combustion engine subsystems. Task three: Describe the principal components of the operation of the cooling system. In introduction: All internal combustion engines are equipped with some type of the cooling system because of the high temperature generated during the operation. The high temperature is necessary to produce the high gas stem pressure for the act of the heading of the piston. Uh, power cannot be produced sufficiently without the high temperature. However, there is not possible to use all the heat of the combustion without the harmful result of the temperature of the combustion chamber during the burning of the fuel as well above the melting point of the iron. Therefore, it is nothing to do with the cool of the engine during the operation of the valve. The war will burn and warp. The lubricating oil will break down. And bearing for the piston will overheat, resulting in engine seizure. The task will describe the principal component for the operating of the cooling system. Two cooling essentials and cooling medium the liquid liquid. Liquid is uh, most comp most popular coolant with the automotive use of the liquid cooling system provide for the most spots for the cooling and the most best for the maintaining the even the engine temperature for the air. The air cooling is practical for the small vehicle, but the equipment may cover the no radiator for the hood for the required for the air cooling generally will not be used whenever the water cooling is practical. This is because the engine is air engine is, does not run into even temperature of the quest of the extensive use of the aluminum to dissipate the heat. Other sources of the engine cooling, there are other sources of the heat dissipation of the engine in addition to the cooling system. The exhaust system dissipates as such of the demo more heat than the cooling system, although it is not in purpose for the engine oil. The state of the paragraph 1 of page 58 with the move of the heat from the engine dissipate from the air from the sump. Fuel provides that the sum of the engine through the vaporization for the measurable amount of the heat is dissipated with the engine air through the radiation from the engine. A liquid cooling system, the fluent coolant over the figure 64 with the following page is some of the some a simple liquid cooling system is with the kids for the radiator cooling pump and the piping the fit with the thermostat with the system of the jack of the passage cylinder head the cylinder black through where the coolant circulates to some of the engines equipped with the water distribution so with the inside with the cooling pass with these direct additional cooling to the points where the temperature and temperature for the high of the cooling of the engine part of the composite for the keeping the cooling circulating with the air and the end for the contact with the metal surface to be cool with the pump draw with the cooling with the, the pump with the, the radiator of the force with the, through the radical the passive the adjector to the upper tank with the top of the radiator. The coolant would then pass with the side of the tube to the bottom of the radiator from which the cooling cycle begins again. The radiator is situated with the front of the fan driven either by the water pump or by electric. Motor of the fan ensure that the air flow through the radiator to the times where there is no vehicle motion. This should be noted that the downward flow of the coolant through the radiator creates what is known as the thermosiphon action. This simply means that the coolant seated in the jacket's engine expanding as it expands becomes less dense and therefore lighter. This is caused the flow out of the top of the, out of the engine, out of the engine into the top of the tank of the radiator. If the coolant with the cooler of the radiator, the engine becomes more dense and heavier. This becomes the coolant to settle on the bottom of the tank of the radiator. The heating of the engine with the coolant of the radiator therefore creates the natural circulation. The aids of the water pump. The earliest thermal automotive vehicles relied on thermosiphon action and is used in no and use no water pump. All right, cylinder head with the water jacket, the cylinder black with the lower hose, fan shroud, and radiator water pump, the upper hose, upper hose, and thermostat. Engine water jacket, the figure 64 with the previous day with the water passage with the cylinder black, the cylinder head with the engine water jacket, the majority of the cylinder black with the water jacket, the complete with the surround, with all the cylinders aligned with the full length within the jacket, the narrow passage that provided with the twin, some with the coolant circulation with some of the engine configuration, how with the cylinder board that are attached to each other, the, the coolant passage but not provided with between the board for the engine, and with the design often is referred to as having size many cylinders. The type of the engine, the tendency to operate with the cylinder, with the temperature slightly higher between the board, with the slightly cooler with the water, with the back, uh, jacket to become the contact with the board. With the addition, with all the engines provided with the water, with the passage around with the exhaust valve, seat that provided with the cooling from the valve that comes in contact with the seat. The cylinder head with the water jacket covered with the combustion chamber with the top of the cylinder with the contain the water pass with the valve seat with the with these are located in the coolant with the coolant flow from the cylinder black into the cylinder head with the pass through the passion called the water transfer port. A tight seal with the port between the cylinder head and the block is very important with the warrior tight seal with this the port with as well with the grass tight seal as in the combustion chamber of openings. Retaining with one large gasket called the cylinder head gap with the coolant water is the far is by with the far more spang on the pop of the coolant. For liquid engine, this plant will look an expense for the boiling. The boil point is within the efficient operational temperature range of the engine. 
Anti-freeze protection when the vehicle is operated with the air is with the temperature below below 32 degrees. With the anti-freezing solution must be added to the water with the U for the coolant. The most common the antifreeze is ethanol glycol. With the antifreeze with the lightly U with the glycerin, methyl, methyl, methyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol, ethyl methyl alcohol provide adequate protection when the antifreeze when you with the sufficient quantities. Main objective is liquid. However, if they evaporate, operate with the temperature of the modern automotive engines making them impractical. Glycerin is often over the same degree of the protection as alcohol, but does not evaporate and use as high. Has a high boiling point and not corrosive and not in order to give it the complete protection against the freezing with the normal youth ethyl glycol ethanol glycol give the maximum protection against the freezing with the night with 65 degrees Fahrenheit when it mixed with the solution 60% with the 40% per water with the proportion of the ethanol glyco if the solution was over the higher freezing point with the solution consequently having the less um, protection in the 100% of the solution ethanol glycol glyco will be re re will you be the freezing point would have been much below the water below that of the water anti-freezing solutions however do not show the increase with the freezing point with the increase in concentration Two good examples of the methyl alcohol vapor. It will freeze at 140 degrees, 44 degrees Fahrenheit, and ethanol alcohol will freeze at 174 degrees Fahrenheit. Corrosion resistance. The cooling system must free for the rust with the scale. The must free for the rust with the scale. The order to make it efficient with the U for the inhibitor for the rust preservative will reduce um, the preventing of the corrosion with the formation of the scale. Inhibitors are not clean, therefore they will not move, move the rust from the scale that have been already been accumulated. Most commercially available antifreeze solutions cause inhibitors and will, if water alone is used for the coolant, an inhibitor should be added. Radiator figure 35 with the following page of radiator automotive vehicle will be with the liquid it's cooling system with the engine with the two tanks. The heater exchange core with the between them with the upper tank with the contained for the outside pipe with the called the inlet. The filler neck with the engine will be placed on the top of the upper tank with the attachment. The filler neck with its outlet with the overflow pipe with the lower tank is also contained for the outside of the pump that serves the radiator outlet operation from the radiator is as follows. Upper tank collects the incoming incoming coolant through the use of the internal cabaf that distributes its growth to the top of the core. The core is made with numerous rows of the small vertical tube that connect to the upper lower and the radiator tank for the sandwich between the rows of the tube that are shin, shin metal sheet metal fins as the coolant passes through the tube of the lower tank with the fins conduct with the heat away from it and dissipate it. Alright, this shows the coolant flow for the radiator right around with the and fin construction. The coolant flow um, for the tank and the flat tube with the loop um, corrugated pipe construction, flat tube, and fin construction, and coolant and flow. It's in, into the atmosphere of the dissipation of the heat of the fins of the A, A with the direction of the constant airflow between the tube of the, with the, with the and fins. The lower tank of the connect for the collection with the core with the discharge within into the engine through the outlet pipe. The overflow pipe provides an opening from the radiator for the escape of the coolant with the steam pressure for the system and exceed with the regulated maximum prevents the, the re rupture for the cooling system component with the zone of the radiator with the design with their tank for the side with the vertical position where they are connected with the core with the contained with the horizontal tube with the radiator configuration with the cross flow radiator with the operator with the same with the banner with the conventional vertical flow radiator. Radiator that it should be noted that there is no thermos of siphon affected with the cross flow radiator water pump. Figure 66 on the following page all modern cooling systems have water pumps to circulate the coolant. The pump is usually located on the front side of the engine with the block receiving the coolant for the lower tank of the force it through the water check of the engine the up of the radiator. Tank of the pump designed to the central figure type of the has impeller with it the blade of the force coolant and outward the impeller rotate with the usually driven the engine crankshaft through the V belt with the bend of the central figure pump. If the water pumps are sure with the expense to circulate the grade with the quality of the coolant. coolant for the side of the non colic with a small amount of the foreign matter, another range with the central fecal pump that permits the limited amount of the thermal siphon action after the engine shut down to help prevent the boiler. Boil over the pump housing usually is cast over them from iron or aluminum. The impeller can be made within iron, aluminum, or plastic. It rides on the shaft that is supported within the housing on seal, but double the row with the ball bearing of the pump shaft. Also, it has a spring loaded seal to prevent the cooling leaking. The coolant from the radiator and the coolant into the engine. Um, Fan shrouding will refer to the back of the figure 64 on page 81. The fan pulls with a large volume of the air over the radiator core with the engine heated. This one can be dissipated effectively in most cases of the fan. This is a principle in page 85. Lesson 2, task 3. Working closer all the shrouds to ensure the maximum efficiency of the fan. The two methods of the drive of the fan. One method to attach the end with the water with the pump shaft. The other method becoming increasingly popular with the electric motor. Thermostatically controlled engine driven the fan. Some of the vehicles are equipped with the same blade fan, with particularly those with the heavy duty, even though the post for the air condition of the fan convenient configuration with the move the tremendous amount of the air of the radiator to provide extra cooling capacity for the problem of the high capacity fan. If they can cover the radiator quarters free from the cold weather, other problems associated with the higher output fan or excessive power consumption the noisy high speed speeds. Most seven blade fans driven with the water pump through the viscosity fluid with the clutch with the drive figure sixty seven. To correct these conditions, the clutch is designed and limited with the fan speed based for the temperature of the air 
charge around with the through the radio with the clutch for the provide the control of the slippage and the temperature for the air below the brace set minimum of flying clutch also for the ability to control the noise of the power consumption of the fan limiting the speed of the preset the maximum electrical motorized fan figure 68 on the following page electrical motorized fan is gain, gaining popularity in automotive use and newer and there's your silicone flan, fluid um, fan clutch Configuration of the front wheel drive with the wheel transversely mounted the engine. The electrical fan is as if they became at the end, but not located directly but between behind the variety of the description of the operation of the fan is as follows. Figure 68, electrically motorized fan with the fan blade is mo mounted with the motor with the shaft of the motor and the fan blade assembled and mounted directly behind the radiator core. The fan received the electrical current through the ignition switch at the temperature sensitive switch located at the bottom of the radiator. The purpose of the radiator thermal switch is to turn on the fan to provide the cooling whenever the temperature reaches the coolant reaches for the approximately 200 degrees of Fahrenheit. The server that allowed of fans who run over the only only run, run only when needed. This shows the lead from the ignition switch, the motor, the fan, and the temperature sensing switch. Some of the models incorporate the time related energy relay hours of the fan to run for the short time after the engine shut down. This is in conjunction with the thermal siphon action, but the cooling system that helps to prevent the boil over the after the engine shut down principle in turn combustion engine. Lesson two task three with the variable pitch with the flexibility fan blade for the figure for the sixty nine for some of the vehicles are equipped with the blades for the made of flexible aluminum fiber glass for the fan blade for the automated to change the pitch for the speed that over the fan increase so that the fan will not create excessive noise or draw excessive the engine power at the high speeds highway speeds. This shows the side view low speed, the side view high speed Thermostat purpose of the water pump with the coolant turn circulating through the system of the engine start with no matter how long the temperature whether therefore the necessary to install the thermostat should a quick warm over the bending over cooling of the cold weather. The thermostat regulates the engine the temperature without automatically controlling the amount of the coolant flowing for the engine block with the radiator core. Operating the thermostat with the measure really hot heat operating with the unit with the control of the valve with the bay come uh, between the engine block with the radiator the usually located in the shear with the engine coolant oil temp uh, link casing through the thermostat housing of the thermostat but the design may uh, fail but it will be an open in the position line with free circulation with the cooling through the engine. This shows the water outlet elbow, the gasket, the thermostat, and the gasket and cylinder head. Configuration the two configuration with the thermostat of the bellows type of the figure seventy on the following page for the consist of the flexible metal bellow with the attached to the valve of the bellows, which seal with the expand with the valve with the high volatile volatile liquid such as the either the bellow of the jam of the contract with the coolant of the cold the holding the valve closed with the liquid have a level of the vapor arrived with the coolant with the heat of the cover of the bellow with the expand the bellow with the hole, the valve opening with the expand with the line with the coolant with the circulate with the bellows uh, style um, bellow style Bellows type, the cylinder stat li li little issue with the modern equipment to pick up with the great sensitivity of pressure around it makes it an accurate modern pressurized cooling system. The pellet type of the thermostat with the figure 71 with the current U for the pick up with the accuracy, unaffected with the, unaffected with the modern pressurized cooling system. The thermostat can the valve operated with a piston and steel pan with a fist in a small cave with containing the copper impregnated with wax pellet with the engine is cooled with the wax pellet is contracted with the spring push with the valve closed with the wax pellet expand with the engine heats over the pushing of the valve opens with the, again the force of the spring of the pellet type of the thermostat will maintain a constant temperature by varying the Side of the valve opening. This shows the pellet type of the thermostat and the pellet cylinder. The valve, piston valve cylinder closed with the wax pellet with the rubber with the case the end with the um, rest of the engine coolant. To the left, to the right of that, you see the end of the tour with the regulator of the piston stationary valve will open the rubber compressed the spring of the case of the valve with the assembly with the force end down, but the, causing the valve to open and wax expanding, for, forcing the rubber to squeeze the piston. Thermostat beat range of the variety of the thermostat with available to allow the coolant to operate with the different temperatures of the standard heat range with available to 160 to 150, 250 degrees Fahrenheit. The coolant bypass figure 72 with the following page. Engine is designed for the water pump with the circulate coolant with the water jacket that went over the thermostat is closed. This is important to keep the piston of the valve through the overheating with the VNA through the engine is below the operating temperature. Show the radiator filler cap the fan, the engine, the water, um, and then they show the radiator thermostat with the bypass for the water pump with the water. Engine cool valve, valve closed from the thermostat allowed for the water to circulate through the engine and the button out the radiator, and then the engine warms up with the valve open with the thermostat allowed for the water to circulate through the engine and, and the radiator. The valve and the thermostat engine cold, the valve and the thermostat engine warm. Radiator pressure cap purpose for the modern automotive view with the pressure cooling system within the lab, a certain amount of pressure is about the, uh, with the system and the temperature grows up, the increase of the pressure will raise the boiling point with the, with the cooling properly, proportionally helping to prevent the boil over. This shows the side view with the cross section of the pressure valve with the overflow pipe with the radiator, upper tank with the radiator core of the vacuum, vacuum valve. 
Operation of the cap can tape the two spring loaded valve with the normally closed with the ceiling and the system the larger of the, the two valve with the pressure valve with the smaller of the vacuum valve with the pressure valve with the act with the safety valve with the vent with any of the pressure you for the related rated maximum through the overflow pump with the valve vacuum valve allows the air to enter with the system with the engine cool down with the prevent the atmospheric pressure with the collapsing with the hose the expansion tank figure seventy four with the following page some of the vehicle with the youth the expansion take of the, the cooling system and the expansion tank is mounted in the serve of the upper radiator hose of the youth the supply uh, extra room with it for the cooling for the expansion for the generally take from the plate for the upper radiator tank with the radiator pressure cap of the overflow line are also mounted for the expansion tank. This shows the pressure cap that supply for the expansion tank um, for the radiator and the thermostatic housing. Cool closed cooling system figure 75 on the following page. Purpose with the closed cooling system is the twofold. First, the same the system with the drain designed to maintain completely full radiators at all time. This will increase the efficiency of the system by allowing the maximum amount of the cooling system during the all operation condition. Second, during the overheating condition, the closed co cooling system prevents the cooling loss through the overflow of the line of the collecting of the rear recovery tank. Two operation of the temperature for the cooling system provided the pressure also that will arrive at the loss of pressure for the valve of the pressure gap of the causing the coolant to exist for the overflow tube thus to prevent it with the expressive pressure for the open tube. Cooling system will empty the coolant over into the road and such as the, uh, unto the road, causing the low coolant level after the temperature returns to the normal when the coolant closes. Cooling, cooling system is you, but the overflow line is connected to the bottom of the coolant rope covered tank to catch the hold the expelled coolant as the temperature of the coolant drops. The corresponding drop of the pressure cover the atmospheric pressure to push the coolant into the recovery tank back into the cooling system through the opening vacuum valve and the pressure cap. This shows the pressure cap of the recovery tank of the engine ho um, heating of the pressure cap of the engine cools. Air cooling system and air cool air an air cooled engine. You they have the thermal cooling system method for the figure seventy six for the following page. Air cooled engines are very easily identified with the rubber fin for the cylinder with the fin fin cylinder head for the, the most of the escape for the large cooling fan with excessive ductwork. The primary means of removing the heat from the air cooled engine is dissipation of the uh, to the air. The ductwork with the old cooling fans cause the constant flow over the air flow over the around the cylinder with the cylinder head fins designed with these components are tremendously amount of the surface of the air with the then so they are dissipated with the um, adequate amount of heat. This show the flapper valve with the thermostatic control cooling the air by the adjusting flapper valve with the fin cylinder head the duct work on the radio fan with the entering the air in the middle of the radio fans. An air cooling system like, like liquid cooling system normally be controlled with the preventing of the controlling of the over the engine. The accomplishment of this system, the thermostatic control doors are usually incorporated with the ducting. The thermostat the heat of the bell is fitted with the butyl alcohol. There's the thermostat heat up to the temperature control of the door through the linkage. When the doors are open, and all, all the oil cooling air is diverted through the engine cooling fan with the air doors closed. With all the oil air cooled bypass of the engine, no cooling takes place to maintain the uniform energy and temperature of the thermostat in the most capable position. The doors so that the part of the cooling and the air bypass of the cool parts of the cools. The rim is that in the event of the failure is designed to open all the doors fully to the prevent overheating. Because of the air oil cooling system does not boil liquid coolant, it is often assumed that the air alone will act for the cooling medium. But if this is not true, because of this, we pointed in paragraph 2A of the page 80, the fuel lubricating system also helps to cool the edge engine with the lubricating system of the air cooled. Engine always use the air cooling system that is also a certain amount of the cooling vapor, fuel vaporization intake of the manifold combustion chamber. The virtually air, all air cooled engines are used with the oil care. Cooler to help with the cooling process for the oil cooler unit is usually located in the ducting so that they expose the force air for the cooling fan is operating with the same as the last described in paragraph 353 after the lesson 2, task 2 on page 73. Four conclusion. The conclusion is discussion of the cooling system and the substitution with the internal combustion engine for the information provided. The subcast should give the mechanical general idea of the principal operation of the internal combustion engine and its subsystem for a more complete understanding of the internal combustion engine. There is operation component of the, of the mechanics should be referred to Tech M98. Zero zero zero, and that completes your uh, IIPD or internal principles of internal combustion act.